Your legacy is not something you build someday. Your legacy is something you build every day. I want you to consider the legacy you are creating right now through your everyday actions and behaviors and habits. If you're listening to this, I already know that you're part of a self-driven crowd, someone who is a high achiever, someone who, who really wants to make a positive and meaningful difference. The challenge that we all face in our quest to achieve, to achieve something important is that we often don't stop to consider the legacy we are creating in the process. A lot of people have reached out to me recently, and I've noticed a trend in their types of questions. Maybe it's the time of year, I don't know, but many of them are asking questions about how to reinvent themselves or their business. A lot of them just wanted to like pick my brain because they know that I've reinvented myself and my business a lot over the years. And if I stop and think about it for a second, I probably reinvented myself at least a dozen times or more. And guess what? I'm not done yet. I hope to have a few more uh, versions left in me. It's important to know when you think about reinventing yourself or your business, the reasons to do that are often personal. See, usually something hasn't worked out the way someone initially planned, and the idea of moving in another direction becomes really enticing. Others are often stuck. They sense like there's a better way, but they're not quite sure what that way is or how to achieve it. And then there's a lot of folks who just simply want more. These individuals are driven by like a deep-rooted desire to just have a larger impact. Whatever the reason is, I encourage the leaders I work with to shift their mindset and begin to view themselves as the CEO of Me Inc., where you replace me with your last name. And if you're if you see if you're constantly doubting yourself or wishing you had a little more courage or confidence, I invite you to get a copy of my book, Freedom to Experiment, How to Ignite a New Level of Energy, Focus, Momentum in Yourself and Your Team. And I say that because I dedicate a chapter specifically to this topic. Follow the link in the description to get a free copy and I'll personally sign it for you. When I was younger, I never stopped to consider my legacy. I was so fixated on achieving the next goal and then the next goal after that, and the one after that. And that's one of the many reasons why people get caught what they refer to as the endless treadmill. It wasn't until I gave myself the freedom to think about my legacy that I began to shift my perspective. And as a result, how I approach life and what's most important. I'll give you an example. Years ago, I left corporate America to pursue my passion. Why? I, like many of you, wanted to make a larger contribution. I wanted, to, I wanted to have a greater impact and I wanted my work, the work I did to matter. Today, I'm on a mission to have a positive and meaningful impact on, on, on millions of people before my time in art school was over. I have shifted my business model to only work with those who share a similar passion and have the courage to do what is right to champion growth for themselves, their team, and their business. Together, we call ourselves Grow Champions. Being a grow champion has become our navigational beacon. This is so important to me that I, that I set a, a text alarm on my phone to go off for at 10 p.m. every night. When the alarm goes off, the one simple question pops up. Did you make a difference today? See, reflecting upon that question before I go to bed keeps me grounded and focused on my why. Why are you searching for something better? Why is that something that you're searching for important to you? The advice I want to give you right now is this. Resist the temptation to judge your life or your business by a specific circumstance, a certain decision, or a difficult quarter or year. Instead, judge yourself on what you want to achieve over a decade or more. That process itself starts right this second with what you want to do today. What impact do you want to have? I know a lot of leaders who can't answer that question. And if that's you, that's okay. If you fall into that category, there's a link in the description to schedule some time to get on my calendar. In the meantime, I invite you to get my book, Freedom to Experiment, How to Ignite a New Level of Energy, Focus and Momentum in Yourself and Your Team. It is in the process of giving yourself the freedom to experiment that you will discover your legacy. Follow the link in the description to get a free copy. I'll be sure to sign it for you. 
Okay, if you like what I shared today, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, share a comment below related to your business or your personal world. And of course, subscribe because each week I'm sharing content to help you and your team embrace change, focus your efforts, and accelerate results. Remember this, you're just one idea away. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you.